adventures. We are in the queue to get our way into the Geo Woodstock 20 here in Flagstaff, Arizona. We're having fun, chatting with new friends, and uh, waiting our turn to get inside. So we'll take you inside very shortly. Adventures, another one of the most iconic things out of Geo Woodstock is the traditional mash signs you see right here behind me. And uh, of course, right up near the top, we've got our home event, Abbotsford, but tons of other great ones, a neat bit of history where you can see all the other Geo Woodstocks that have occurred, the other 19. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Josh, I'm Fu Manju, I'm the host of Geo Woodstock 20. We are here in Flagstaff, Arizona, celebrating the 20th anniversary of Geo Woodstock, the mother of all megas. You know, we are got a couple, got a thousand, at least 2,000 people already. There's a line out the door this morning and uh, really excited to be here. And, uh, but you know, we're burning daylight and I got stuff to do, so I kind of got to go. Hey adventurers, so like I said, there's lots of cool people to run into when you are at a Geo Woodstock. And two of the coolest people you can run into are Sunny and Sandy. Hey! Yay. How's How it going? <laughs> How are you guys enjoying the event so far? Oh my gosh, it's overwhelming. Uh, if you have not been to in something... In a good way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in a good way, in a good way. If you have not been to one of these before, you need to, to, to get to one because it is overwhelming and great. So many geocachers, great personalities out here, yeah. Awesome. What has been your favorite part for both of you so far of Flagstaff? Oh, okay. Flagstaff. Well, uh, we enjoyed going out to Williams and then doing the uh, the Route 66 trail back to Flagstaff. Nice. Um, and I've loved all the adventure labs around the downtown area. Those yes. have been really cool. Yeah, yeah. Is, this is my first time visiting Flagstaff, and it's got a charm to it. It kind of reminds me of Colorado but it's got its own charm um the the historic nature of both route 66 and the town itself and of course all the friendly people we've been meeting for sure yeah. fantastic well there's lots more friendly people who want to meet these guys so we're going to let them go but thank you so much for taking a few moments to talk with us all right well thanks for chatting with us jay hey folks i have found one of my geocaching friends lookout lisa hey it's lookout lisa from cash advance How's the event going yeah. for you? Hey, it, it's going well. We're this right, booth is busy. Yeah, we're right here as people come in the door so we get to see everybody just as they're coming in. And there's so much to see here today too. So um, what is it that, uh, that you have on display here? Yeah, so we are promoting all of our subscriptions today. So our t-shirt club, our cash crate, which is our flagship subscription. Yep. You know, great box of geocaching gear every month. And we also have our Cashkins club, our cash track club, which are just trackables and then our hero crate as well. Oh my goodness, what yeah. don't you have? Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fantastic, so if yeah. people want to find it, where do they go? Yeah, so the best way for our subscriptions is cashcrate.com, and then our main website is cash-advance.com, and that's got links to everything else. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope the show goes well for you and the Thank trip you. goes well for you both. Thank you, we're really looking forward to uh, seeing everybody else that's coming in today, and we've had a great trip. I hope you have a good one, good time too. We're having a great time, Lisa. Good. Good. All right, let's see who, who we can find next. Yeah. So I've been wandering all over this event looking for one person, and I think I finally found him. I thought we were doing the U2 song. You still haven't found what you're looking for. <laughs> well, I finally have found what I'm looking for. It is my co-host, Chris of the Northwest. If you, uh, well, where do people find you? 
Well, the easiest place is to go cashingnw.com. Every Thursday night at 9 o'clock, we do a podcast. That's the easiest place to find me, of course. You can get me on the geocaching messenger. Chris of the Northwest, all one word. So, how's the trip going, my friend? Love it. We just got in yesterday. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. So, uh, went and did the event last night. Yep. Went and did some... Oh, last night's event was busy. Boy, wasn't it? <laughs> You know, I was probably in there for an hour and a half or so and then walked outside and was like, why haven't I been outside the whole time? It's much cooler. Yeah, it's much nicer out here. There's anyway. a lot of people in there. Yeah. It was, But it was a neat environment. Fabulous uh, establishment, right? Yeah. Built in the 30s. Oh, was uh, it? I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Some of the wood outside is just remarkable and the structure inside was beautiful. There you go. Um, we did some of the Route 66 geocaches. Or I'm nice. sorry, Adventure Labs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Along with geocaches, right? Excellent. And we hiked Walnut Canyon. Oh. I highly suggest that. Catch us every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Pacific. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Now, when you're talking about the Arizona desert, there is nothing more iconic than the Roadrunner and the Coyote. So I'm going to just be careful because I believe at some point there may be an anvil coming at me. But at the moment, I seem to be free of acne related things. We are going to do some more geocaching. Enjoy this amazing area. If you haven't been to Flagstaff, definitely put it on your bucket list of places to come and visit and experience. Who is not having fun on this trip? Yeah! Not I! Carlo! 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 So now we've headed downtown. We are at the Orpheum Theater. We're just waiting to get inside to check out Midnight Madness. Hey guys, we are here at Midnight Madness with Annie Love. Annie Love. Yep. Cheers. Awesome. Yep. Having a great time? Oh, having a blast. All right. Yep. All right. Well, another person that we have bumped into, you may recognize this face, uh, even though you're, you're without your sidekick. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's, he's uh, in a little bit of trouble right now. <laughs> Isn't he always? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And for those who may not, no, we are talking to. I'm Hale Meister from Geocaching with Hale Meister on YouTube. Excellent. And uh, how are you enjoying the trip down here? It's been great. I uh, got a little sunburn today. You know, that's what happens. You don't have hair, but, uh, <laughs> and you're in the valley of the sun. But it's been uh, a lot of fun geocaching here and meeting people and spending some time with uh, friends, old and new. Excellent. Well, thanks for taking a few moments to say hi. And uh, again, if people want to find you on YouTube, yeah, uh, you can just search Geocaching with Hailmeister on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. Yeah, excellent. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Hey, adventurers. We hope you enjoyed coming along to Geo Woodstock 20 as much as we enjoyed bringing you along with us. We got to reconnect with amazing friends from all over the world, and it reminded us that the best thing that you're going to find when you go geocaching is new friends. We want to thank all of our friends who have subscribed and liked our videos. It makes a huge difference for us. So if you've enjoyed this, consider clicking subscribe, clicking like, leaving a comment down below. And if you really want to support the creative content we make, consider becoming part of our patron family. You can find out more at patreon.com slash landmonkey.